The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is up guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden Mobile video. Guys, today we have two new Ultimate Legends in the game. We've got Champ Bailey, we have Ahmad Green. Now guys, both of these players are among the very best players at their position currently in the game. So we're definitely going to try and pull packs and see if we can get one or both of them completed. I have not looked at the sets yet. Now last week they made it actually achievable to finish some of the Ultimate Legends. If you pulled, I think it was the year collectible. I think was the big one that you needed to pull. So we'll have to go check that out. See what you get in uh, the sets. But uh, yeah, today we're going to try and pull the limited edition version of these guys. Again, Champ Bailey, one of the best cornerbacks of his era. I think he's the best cornerback of like the late 90s to like early 2000s into the 2010s. That's, in my opinion, he's the best cornerback of that era for sure. Uh, but you guys got to let me know in the comment section below what you think about these cards. I think... Again, I think they're both very, very good. So uh, we'll have to check these out real quickly. I want to check out the sets. Like I said, um, I have not seen them yet. So let's go ahead and take a look at them weekly. Ultimate Legends. Okay, here's Champ. Let's see here. So, yeah, same thing as last week, it looks like. They don't have, like, the elite players anymore. They have these elite collectibles. Now, the collectibles, again, last week I was able to complete the Darnell Docket. So that was nice. Um, we do still have the team collectible, the position collectible, the year collectible, and then you've obviously got to get the gold version of the player. The gold version of the player is not real difficult to do. We have a ton of these Ultimate Legend badges, which is a good thing. So if I'm able to get the year collectible and the other collectibles, I will be able to complete these sets. Um, same thing with the Amon Green. It appears a team, a position, and a year collectible. So that's great. That should be uh, a little bit more achievable, potentially, of actually completing these things. So that would be nice. So so uh, what I actually have today, guys, in my uh, in my binder is I have a whole bunch of the um, the Ultimate Legend packs. I've got 30 of them saved up here, and I also have a whole bunch of these Ultimate Legend player packs. So I'm gonna be completing if I'm if I'm not able to complete the actual Ultimate Legends today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and uh, finish opening up the Ultimate Legend player packs, probably for a video tomorrow. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comment section below. And if I've, I'm left over with like a whole bunch of the badges, we'll add on to the ones that I have. I think I've got like 25 of them or something like that. So I've got a whole bunch. But I do, again, have a whole bunch of these Ultimate Legend packs. So without further ado, let's start ripping these things open and see if we pull a limited edition right away. So we start off with the Donovan McNabb gold player and another one of those badges. So we're at like 23 of those badges or something like that. I think you need like five of them or something like that to complete um, the set to actually get an ultimate legend player and right here we do get a donovan mcnab position collectible so that's actually something decent we can make uh, we can certainly make use of that uh, we need those year collectibles though if i remember correctly i think those are the rare things if i do remember correctly we get the mcnab team collectible there okay so we just now need the Mc mcnab year collectible and, and we'll be good to go i thought those were out of packs to be honest with you but uh, if we get the mcnab year collectible that would be great we do get a geno atkins here so that's not too bad so we're getting some decent stuff to start off the video anyway, guys. And uh, let's continue on here. Come on, man. Let's go. Get me something beastly. And we get the uh, Darnell Dockett team collectible. So I've already completed Darnell Dockett. Probably be able to sell that. I don't think that's really probably worth a whole lot, to be honest with you. We do get a Demario Davis. Oh, my gosh, dude. This is actually a low-key beast-ass pull, guys. If you guys didn't know, Demario Davis is an 87 overall for the Unsung Hero Sidekick Edition. This card is... I think I bought this thing for like 600k or something like that last night. That might have been an overspend. I don't know. But I do know that this was the one that I needed to actually complete a Jamie Collins. So I think that this is a really, really nice pull, guys. I'm pretty sure this thing is a really nice pull. Unless they like overnight made this thing a lot more common to pull. I don't know. But uh, that's actually, like I said, I think this might be the best pull that we have in the video today, guys. 87 overall, but it's the fact is that it's the rare card for the set, if I, if I do remember correctly. And I'm pretty sure I do remember correctly on that. So that is actually a really, really nice pull, guys. And uh, we're going to continue to pull packs here until we freaking get something beastly, damn it. We need to pull one of these Ultimate Legends. We get a Champ Bailey position collectible there. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, we'll, we'll continue on. Come on, man. Let's get something just epic here. 
Let's get something epic. And we get the positional collectible again for Darnell Doggett. Damn it, that's not going to be good enough. We need stuff. We need better stuff than that. We need the year collectibles, guys. We need those year collectibles. If there's anything with a year, we're going to be very, very happy. Because that's basically, that's basically the piece of the puzzle that you need to complete this thing. Because like the rest of it really isn't that rare, to be completely honest with you. Um, we get a position collector or a team collectible, excuse me, for champ. So I think we're down now to just need the year collectible for champ. So that's what we're really hoping for right now. Still no Amon Green stuff, oddly enough. Donovan McNabb team collectible there. They're making these things a little bit more achievable now, I think. Just a little bit more. Not like extraordinarily more achievable, but definitely more possible, I think. Let's continue on, guys. And we get a Amon Green team collectible. So we do get a little piece of Amon Green there. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I know there's going to be something beastly in here for me. I know there's going to be something beastly. I know it's going to happen. Come on. Ah, we do get a Le'Veon Bell, though. 89 overall. That's, like, got a little bit of value, at least. It's not It's not going to pay for the pack by any means, but it's certainly a nice little, nice little additional pull from what we normally will get out of these packs. And, damn, a team collectible for Bailey. All right. Still hoping for those year collectibles, guys. Those unsung hero cards, by the way, are actually um, pretty good for that. Like, that's an extra little set that you can get stuff out of, which is nice. Like I said, I, I was very, very happy to get that to Mario Davis. So, got plenty of packs to go here, guys. Come on. And we get a Morgan Burnett. Okay, random 85 overall, along with the Donovan McNabb. Come on, man. Let's pull this thing. Let's get something beastly. Damn it, another team collectible. Still looking for those year collectibles, guys. Still got plenty of packs to go, though. Another team collectible there. Well, actually, we're down now. It looks like to eight packs, but that's still, like, almost a third of the ones that I uh, started with. So, come on. We, we actually had to clutch it at the end of the last time that we did this. We pulled the year collectible in, like, the final three packs, if I remember correctly. So, uh, really hoping that we get one, man. My green team collectible again. One year collectible, please. Just one. That's all we need, man. Just one year collectible or the limited edition version. That would be great, too. Although, I'm, beggars aren't being choosers on this one, guys. Come on. Let's get something beastly here. Damn it! Missed again. Son of a bitch. And final three packs now, unfortunately, guys. We're really getting down there. Haven't really pulled anything super great out of this pack opening. Other than... If that card, the Demario Davis, is worth a lot. So we're going to have to go check that out. I think it could be a pretty nice pull. So I'm going to have to double check it at the end of this video, guys. And damn, we're down to the final pack, guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this one. Again, didn't pull anything great so far. This is the last one. We're going to go slow on this one. Ultimate Legend Collectible. Come on. And our player is down to McNabb. Damn. All right, so let's go check it out here. Let's go check out this Demario Davis and see what he's going for. And then we'll go maybe check out the Champ Bailey Year Collectible because I think I need that uh, to complete it. So let's go check, take a look at Demario. And I think he was an 87 overall, if I remember correctly. Let's see what he's going for right now. Damn, it's way down. Oh, well. Well, that's all right. It's still, it's still a good pull, though, man. It's still like a 300,000 coin pull, it looks like. Let's see here. Let's see, like, what the cheapest one is going for. I'm going to have to maybe put it at, like, 350. And, yeah, it looks like there's a whole bunch of them up. Damn. So, I guess it's down there at, like, 275k. But that's still a really nice pull. Like, you can't complain about a 275,000 coin pull. Like, that's still pretty damn good. I will, I will certainly accept that. Uh, I don't have any problem with that. So... Uh, let's go check out this Champ Bailey real quickly here. Let's go find the year for this thing first, and then we'll see if we can find it on the auction house and see if it's available. So, uh, let's see here. Weekly and Champ Bailey. What year was this? 2006. Okay. So, we'll do 2006. And what year was the one for Mon Green? 2003. Okay. So, we'll go and see if, uh, if we can find either of these for a little snipe. That would be great. So, 2006. And we'll change the program to Ultimate Legend. There we go. Okay, let's see if we find anything. Okay, so yeah, the Champ Bailey one is very, very expensive right now. Cheapest one looks like it's 2 million coins. That would have been a great pull. <laughs> that would have been something I would have been pretty happy to pull, man. 2 million coins for that. Son of a B. That is expensive, dude. Wow. 
That is really expensive for a collectible, but, I mean, Champ Bailey, like I said, is one of the best players at his position of all time. So, uh, the Amon Green one looks like it's a little bit more achievable. 899k there, 778k, 725k. 700k looks like it's the cheapest one for the Amon Green. So, let me know in the comment section below, guys. Should I complete this Amon Green, or should I not? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor and drop a like on it. And, of course, make sure that you subscribe to the channel as well if you are new. Thanks again, guys, and I will talk to you guys again soon.